welcome back to my channel <laughs> you guys it is 2 52 in the morning now what i'm doing is i'm opening up this review that i am doing on the dube wearable breast pump s10 pro it's an electric breast pump now before we get into it make sure that you guys like comment subscribe and share this video with a friend as a first time mom and now official breast pumping slash nursing mama <laughs> I am very happy and excited to continue my product review journey. It has been going great. I have been using so many things and I am excited to create this content for you guys. We've upgraded, you know, graphics and I'm excited for this ring light and also the camera that my fiance decided to let me use on top of a lens but we'll get into that later make sure that you guys are taking notes and paying attention to what you use and you do not use as a first-time parent so that you do not make the same mistakes twice and even if you do it's okay because we are human for those of you that know or don't know my name is jahanita perez i am a work from home mama i was born and raised in the caribbean i was raised on st croix been in new york since i was 15 just had just turned 16 um when my mother passed away and it has been a journey i have been learning so many lessons it has been going great i am not complaining i am blessed and highly favored like the Rose and then also I am half Dominican. Mother side of the family is Dominican so ustedes saben que soy Latina, Caribeña, living in New York, we out here in these streets. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Do not forget to share this channel with a friend. I'll see you guys in the video. You know how they say pimping ain't easy. Pimping ain't easy. Pumping is not easy. Um, 7 or 5 a.m. Baby just went back to sleep. I did two power pump sessions, I guess, because I did 20 minutes. Then I took a break while I fed the baby. And we are. 14 minutes in and we're gonna stop so this pump times out after 20 minutes of use um i did have extra pump parts ordered and they seem to work fine except for this one i'm not sure where the disconnect is because it came in a pack of two so this one also has my 19 millimeter flange insert i also have extra of these highly recommend these come in 24 and it says it right at the top 24 millimeter silicone so i was trying to use it this morning so that i wouldn't use this one this one was in the fridge overnight i do use the fridge method with my pumps because ain't nobody got time to be washing pump parts all day when I put this piece on this morning, it was in suctioning. I thought maybe this was not working. So I tried the shorter one and see maybe that's the problem, but it did come with the long one and this one works perfectly fine. It also has like this extra layer that catches the excess milk. So if you're like me and after you finish pouring from the spout, you also pour the little bits from in here. Yeah, it's not coming out. <laughs> You're gonna have to completely take the pump part part in order to get that extra bit of milk that always stays stuck behind in that hole. So I'm just gonna reassemble this and leave it alone. Because I will drop the link in the in the description. Because this is a replacement part that you can order for this pump and I'm also going to drop the link to it. They're $160 and I got them for 63 bucks. My left boob usually underproduces. Is it been doing good lately? I don't know. Things are getting, things are getting better. I am here for it. So we're going to do left boob. And I really just wanted the pump so I can drink my coffee. I want coffee. I want to do this shit. I don't want to do this. There we go. Left boob, eight ounces, six ounces, six. Can I put this down without it spilling? Perfect. Very 
Rendezvous. Chevy Six also. It's a lot of milk there. This boob I usually get anywhere from um, eight to ten ounces, so eight to twelve. So this is my 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 big guy. This one's feeding the baby. This one's like, yeah, we'll show up when we want to. There's something black in here. It could be a coffee ground. There's more than enough milk to go around. Let me actually label these first. Then another episode of I'm going crazy. Perfect. So when you lay these down, remember that you have a spout. So when I put it down on the table just now, I try to keep it angled this way so that I'm not spilling milk. I just learned this because I'm like, why can't it stay still? So I try not to overfill these. And it's so interesting because I saw that I had a little bit more space and I was going to keep going. It was good that I stopped. We'll pump again in two to three hours. <clears throat> this is about an hour pump session. And then this goes to wash. And then these go back on the fridge. All right, for later pump session. I'm actually very proud of this pump session. Usually with the, man, um, the hands-free pumps, like this is my second hands free pump that I've ordered, trying different ones. I usually don't get that much from both boobs combined. And this is a really great pump session. 13 and a half, so I would say about 14 ounces. Ooh, 14 ounces, one pump session. Oh. Close this pen back. Let's go to the fridge. All right, so like I said, bring in the fresh milk. This is everything that I pumped yesterday, left over, that is gonna get frozen, aside from what's in the deep freezer. Right, so I have some stuff here from January 7th. We're just gonna put this in here, so it can freeze flat. I really like these. And then this is December 23rd, that I'll probably take back home with me so we can get rid of those. And then this is more. December 28th. So this is from the 23rd to the 31st of December that I need to get rid of. And then we have this, like I said, for today. And that's more than enough. Like, this is one, two, three, four, five servings. And I still have like three more or four more pump sessions to go for the day. Let's close that up. I am hungry. All right, now that wraps up the video. I hope that you guys were able to get great information in regards to this wearable breast pump that you don't have to be attached to cords with. You can just, you know, move around the house when you have the mental capacity to move around the house. I did highlight today, sometimes you will have great pump sessions where you can move around and sometimes your body will just want you to stay still. Today, I was accompanied, accompanied, lord jesus my accent to just get in there um my fiance was home with me and he encouraged me to get up and get moving because i do have things that i want to do on my to-do list and if i'm sitting down pumping nothing's gonna get done um that did make coffee and that's another thing please check with your medical provider if it's okay for you to drink coffee while you pump i do it when i need to be up for example like right now it is three o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday no it's officially Thursday and I needed coffee in order to be up with this baby he is finally down I am editing videos we're getting this content out and I will see you guys on the next one ciao